Hi, I'm Greg Lambrecht, founder and inventor of Corvin, and I'm here to talk about some tips and tricks in the use of Corvin sparkling in your restaurant or wine bar. Corvin sparkling lets you serve a broad variety of really wonderful champagnes and sparkling wines from around the world by the glass to your guest. It allows you to expand the variety of options that you have on your by the glass list, but it also lets you do sparkling wine pairings for customers, all while preserving your sparkling wine for up to four weeks with no oxidation or wastage. One important tip with Corvin sparkling is to make sure that your stopper fits perfectly. To ensure this, make sure you cut the foil about a finger's width below the glass flange uh, on the bottle. Most bottles of sparkling have a simple tear tab uh, that allows you to pull the foil off easily, but you'll notice that sometimes it doesn't tear it away uh, at the base of the neck. So it's really important to make sure that for your Corbin sparkling system that you cut at least that finger's breadth below the bottom of the foil. The great thing about Corbin sparkling is you open and pour a bottle just like you normally would with uh, any, any bottle of sparkling wine. So you pour your guest the first glass, and in between glasses, it's really important to close the bottle with a Corvin stopper. To use the stopper, simply lift up on this latch until it clicks, place it onto the bottle, and then close this handle as well. I find that if you close it with your fingers, it can be a little hard on some bottles, so I close it with my palm. To pour your next glass of wine, you've got to remove the stopper. It's easy to do. Simply pull up on this handle until it clicks, like so. Remove it from the top of the bottle, pour your next glass, place it back on, and you're done. One of the great features about the Corvin sparkling system in the restaurant is that there's a way to open a charged bottle without making a big popping sound. We built in a feature where if you tilt the stopper, you'll release the pressure. Sort of like riddling a, a bottle of sparkling when you're opening it. You tilt the, the stopper like so, and it releases the pressure from the inside slowly and quietly. Then you can open the bottle and pour the next glass. There's no need to recharge the bottle between every pour. It's important to charge the bottle at the end of service. You can accomplish this simply by taking our charger system, placing it on top of the stopper. You'll notice there's a green light there. It goes to red while it's charging, and then back to green when it's fully charged. You know that you need a new capsule of Corvin sparkling gas when your charger's indicator light turns and stays red. Now that means you're out of gas. Each capsule will preserve up to seven bottles of wine if you're charging just at the end of service. If you're charging between glasses, expect fewer bottles. Corvin Sparkling has a regulator on the inside, which makes sure that the pressure inside the bottle is never more than one and a half atmospheres. That's a pretty low pressure. However, bottles are still made out of glass. And if bottles have been dropped or cracked, but are not shattered, you might not notice. And even one and a half atmospheres can cause the bottom to pop off or the shoulder to pop out. We do include a simple sleeve that you can use to cover your bottle to make sure that this risk is minimized. Thanks for watching. I hope that those tips and tricks uh, will be really useful to you and that you'll be able to serve your guests lots of really amazing glasses of wine and create an unforgettable experience.